So I was thumbing through my Bible and I came across John 12, 35 and 36. And it says, So Jesus said to them, The light is among you for a little while longer. Walk while you have the light, lest darkness overtake you. The one who walks in darkness does not know where he is going. While you have the light, believe in the light that you may become sons of the light. And I just want to give you my take on those two verses. Number one, we won't always have the light. When Jesus said the light is among you for a little while longer, he was talking about himself, because soon he would be crucified for the sins of the world. And that still applies today in two ways. The first way is spiritual, because in the beginning of the Bible, in Genesis 6-3, it says, My spirit will not abide with man forever, which is now the Holy Ghost. And when he says the light is among you for a little while longer, you can think of it in a physical way as well. Because the life we live isn't going to last forever, and no one knows how much time we have left. So I believe we should make this a mindset that we only have his light for a little while longer. I just mean we should do all we can while we can. And that leads me to my second point. Number two, walk in the light. Jesus said walk while you have the light. We got to make the most of the light while we have it. And the positions that life puts us in sometimes can make that a hard thing to do. But when you do, it all works out for the good. And as long as the light is available to us, we'd be stupid not to use it. It's like never turning the lights on in the house and complaining that you can't see because it's too dark. Number three, know where you're going. Jesus said, the one who walks in the darkness does not know where he's going. If you're saved, you're either walking in the light or walking in the darkness. There's no in-between, there's no gray area. But if you're lost, you're just walking in darkness. The difference between those who are saved and those who are lost is when you're saved and you're walking through darkness, it's true, you don't know where you're going, but you know where to go. You know the light is right where you left it, waiting for you, whenever you want to turn around and go back. But the lost don't know that because they've never really seen or experienced the light. Because if they did, I don't think they would be lost. But that's where we come in. And that leads me to my last point. Number four, the sons of light. Those who are saved are all sons of light, man or woman. We being the sons of light is our job to add more to the family. We can lead the lost out of darkness by following the light. I mean, we can lead by example. We can show others how to be saved by the way that we live. Show them with our actions. Show them we also drift into the darkness. But it's by no other than Jesus Christ who brings us back into the light. And of course, we can always tell them about how God sent his only son, who is the light of the world, to be crucified, die, buried, and rise again on the third day just for our sins. If you're lost, I just want to tell you that there is a way out of darkness. And there's an eternal darkness that you don't want no part of. I've been put here to do whatever I can to lead you to the light.